the USS Reliant NCC-1864 was a Miranda-class starship, a type of vessel employed by Starfleet from the late 23rd century until the late 24th. There were several slight design variations within the Miranda class, but they were used primarily as science or supply vessels, although they were employed in combat against the Borg during the, and during the Dominion War. At 233 meters long, and with a crew complement of around 200 personnel, the Reliant was over 50 centimeters shorter than the refitted Constitution class vessels like the original Enterprise. Unlike many other Starfleet ships, the Miranda class did not have a secondary engineering hull but consisted of a single saucer section with two Orkney cells that were mounted below. The enlarged area at the rear of the saucer section was normally used for cargo, while at the very rear, on either side of the impulse engines, were two shuttle bays numbered 1 and 2. Some Miranda class vessels, including the Reliant, were equipped with a weapons roll bar that extended above the rear section of the saucer. This greatly enhanced its firepower as it was fitted with two forward and two aft torpedo launchers in the middle and two tubular phaser banks on each side. Other Miranda class starships, such as the USS Bozeman, upon which Benjamin Sisko served, did not have this roll bar, but did have extra cylindrical sensor pods fitted on either side of the saucer section. Vessels had six Type 7 phaser emitters, three mounted on the top saucer and three below, while there are also two single phaser emitters at the rear located just behind the impulse engines. The Reliant had a vertical installed warp core, which was the same design as those fitted in the Constitution. It spanned several decks and was capable of propelling the ship to a top speed of warp 8. In common with most other Starfleet vessels, the bridge of the Reliant was located on deck 1 at the top of the saucer section. The layout was very similar to that of the Constitution class starships, with helm and navigation stations on the front and a captain's chair in the middle. On the Reliant, the tactical station was slightly behind the captain's chair on his left, while the science and communication stations were on the right and on the other side of the bridge. As a vessel used primarily for scientific research, the Reliant had sophisticated scanning equipment, including a dyno scanner, which was powerful enough to detect microbes or even a particle of preanimate matter on a planet's surface. In 2285, the Reliant was under the command of Captain Clark Turner when it was assigned to the task of finding a completely lifeless planet to satisfy the stringent requirements necessity necessary for a top secret test of the Genesis device. The crew of the Lyre Reliant which included Commander Pavel Chekhov and Commander Carr, who had both previously served aboard the Enterprise. Eventually, they discovered what they believed to be a suitable planet for testing the Genesis device and the SETI, uh, the SETI Alpha system. Unfortunately, it turned out to be the planet where Captain Kirk had marooned the genetically enhanced Khan Noonien Singh and his followers 18 years earlier after they tried to take control of the Enterprise. The planet had subsequently always become uninhabitable after the destruction of a nearby planet. Embittered that Kirk had never checked on his fate, Khan seized control of the Reliant and lured Kirk and the Enterprise to turn him in so he could have his vengeance. 
When the unsuspected Enterprise arrived, Khan launched a surprise attack, very nearly destroying the Enterprise. It was only Kirk's intimate knowledge of Starfleet ships that saved them, as he reused the Reliance prefix code 16309 to take control of their systems and lower the ship's shields. The Enterprise was unable to target the Reliant weapons and war drive, rendering them temporarily inoperative. The heavily damaged ships later re-engaged and fought a tense battle inside the Mutuara Nebula, in which Khan was killed and the Reliant destroyed, although victory came at the cost of Spock's life. Really nice spot.